Rebecca in the morning. It is July 22nd. It's a little after 6 and we're headed to town. We're heading into Edna. Yesterday was rough. Like really rough. Um, my right leg calf muscle was tight most of the day. And my bailout point wasn't really an option. So I did my original plan of 22 miles. Which is good because it gets me like 8 to 9 miles to town. Instead of 12 to 13. But, um, yeah, I'm going to hike in this morning and see how it feels. But I might have to zero, um, tomorrow. But it might be a good time to do that. Um, as far as financially, they have, um, where hikers can camp at the city park for $5 a night. So, that would be kind of good. But, yeah, so we're going to hike and see how I feel. Um... I kind of don't want to zero because I'm very aware of time right now and how much I have left and how many miles I have to hike. But at the same point, I can only hike so far if I'm injured, you know? So we'll see how I feel. Um, yeah, otherwise, I'm going to turn this around. You can see a little bit of what I'm seeing and we're going to get hiking. Not sure what mountain that is, but it's kind of pretty. Seen it peek up above the haze. But if you look over here, you see how the haze is actually brown. That is wildfire smoke from Oregon settled into the valley again. Got my bug net on because the gnats are pretty bad this morning. I'm three miles from town. This stuff is pretty. My brain doesn't like it though, so I'm really ready to get into town. And then, um, I need to take a zero for sure, maybe a double zero. Um, zero for my leg, and maybe two for it, but, um, yeah, I'll talk more maybe when I get to town. I let my ambition run wild this last, uh, section, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to let it continue to do that. So, but anyways, we'll talk more in town. I want to get to town. <laughs> Look at this cool fly. I just had one of the most prettiest jumping spiders on me. Oh my god, it's so beautiful.
So I'm 2.6 in to my hike for today. And my leg definitely feels better. My mind is not right. <laughs> um, it's just not. Um, I'm really not feeling it. Um, part of it is because I was dumb in the sense of I have a weakness for stationery and like pens and notebooks and stuff. And when I went to the Dollar General last night, I bought some. <laughs> I bought quite a few. <laughs> and when I bought them, it was after we could mail them. Um, like the post office is closed. And so I'm carrying them right now. And with the food and like the two liters of water, it feels like I'm carrying 10 liters of water. It's my, my pack is way beyond heavy. Um, and it's putting me in a really grumpy mental spot. And so basically I'm backtracking um, now the two something miles to Etna because I've, I'm like climbing up this hill and I'm like, one, I don't want to eat injure myself because I can still feel it. Like it's way better, but I can still feel it. I don't want to re-injure myself, but two, it's like, yeah, I can eat my food and I can eat my water, but eat my water, drink my water. But the extra weight that I'm carrying needs to disappear now and i don't want to carry it for 53 more miles to saia valley to mail it so i'm gonna backtrack and i'm gonna go take care of that problem i'm also going to finally figure out what to do with my ice axe and a few other things i'm gonna bounce them ahead um give this pack light later than it is now but one thing i didn't want to mention But I'm going to, and this is the main reason why I'm going back and spending one more night in town, is normally I would just push through, you know, just like it's a mistake, push through, let myself learn from it, carry the weight. I'm struggling with quitting again, like seriously, serious quitting. Um, I know I'm very close to Oregon. I'll make it to Oregon. I will be fine. I just need another day. Um, it's just... I'm running into what I ran into when... At the 300 mile marker. And then... Um, I pushed, you know, for a while. to, ch You know, for 100 miles. Almost 200 miles to try to like... Where's Wrightwood? I can't remember what mile Wrightwood is. Anyways. What I'm running into is like... I just keep on hiking in the same terrain environment and I'm hoping Oregon's going to be better for me mentally, different environment, different whatever. Like I'm still in the high desert. I'm still, still hot, still exposed sometimes because, you know, I have burn scars. We also have forest too. It is actually better up here in Northern California compared to the desert. I guess what I'm trying to say is like, my brain's having that issue right now where it's like, do I want to do another thousand miles of this? You know, if Oregon isn't quote unquote better, do I want to do another thousand miles of this? And I'm trying to fight against that. So, um, I've been trying to fight against it for a week now. Um, I know it's the halfway blues. I never really had them on the AT. Everybody around me is having them right now. So I'm just going to take one more day, put, um, get into town again, get some more town food in me, just relax one more night and like read or something like not even do socials if I don't want to, um, get rid of this pack <laughs> weight and push reset again um and 
get myself back on trail. I feel like tomorrow I'll be ready because I am getting to the point where I'm getting a little antsy to get back on trail too. But I can't, I can't do it right now. And it sucks. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I can push through it, but I don't want to, I don't want to suffer that much today. So I'm going to go fix my problem and then have a brighter future tomorrow. Also, I might not spend the whole night in Etna tonight. You know, maybe, maybe I'll get this all settled and I'll feel, you know, like, oh, like my brain might be like, oh, okay, we're good now. And then I'll maybe like try to just hike out a few miles or something and like camp up here where I was and then start fresh tomorrow from the trail I that I might end up doing that but right now I need to fix the pack problem problem like it's like super high because it's super full and I just I, I screwed up I screwed up but I also I was I thought it was okay mentally but uh, this trail has been a challenge for me more than I anticipated and I have a lot of fun too but man it's one thing they don't talk about as through hikers with multiple hikes through hikes under the belt and they don't talk about enough how like or maybe they just love it more than I do. I don't know, man. Or like the struggle of comparing trails. I mean, no, that's not the right word, but just like the second trail might not be as glamorous <laughs> as you thought it would be. I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm gonna get hiking. <laughs>